Hello wonderful person, this is Anton, and in today's video we're going to be talking about an incredible new discovery made in February of 2017, where the scientists discovered something very unusual in the universe, in our galaxy, about 300 light years away from us. And this something is a white dwarf pulsar. Let's talk about it, let's recreate it in Universe Sandbox, and find out what it's all about. Welcome to What The Math. <laughs> Now you might be already familiar with the concept of a pulsar and if you're not you can check out some of the previous videos I made where I describe what they are and also recreate them as well. But essentially in a nutshell a pulsar is a very very compact neutron star that emits huge huge amounts of uh, radiation via these very unusual jet streams that you can see protruding from here and once in a while this jet stream sort of um, points directly at us and when that happens what we see is a kind of a um, very interesting um, lighthouse like effect that usually is super 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 fast now that's the idea of a pulsar now what we've discovered in february of 2017 is something even more unusual this was actually a very theoretical model that has not been seen until very recently and this is actually in a system called AR Scorpii, about 300 light years away from us. We've discovered something that seems to be not just a, a pulsar like you see in, in, right here, but it's actually a pulsar that is also a white dwarf. In other words, it's a white dwarf pulsar. So let me just place Series B here just for a comparison. This is what white dwarf looks like. That tiny thing next to it is a neutron star. A white dwarf is essentially the future of our, our sun. Our sun will one day become a white dwarf. It will uh, release its shell and create an object that looks something like this and that's about the same size as our planet Earth. In other words, it's much, 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 much smaller than the sun. But it's also just as massive and has a very high density. So. What we've discovered is a little bit unusual. We've discovered a white dwarf that has a tremendously powerful magnetic field. As a matter of fact, it's something like 100 million times higher than um, our planet Earth. So if we were to look at the magnetic field of our planet, which I'm going to place a little bit farther away here, the magnetic field of our planet can be seen right here. So there is the magnetic field. Now imagine this times 100 million so it would be incredibly powerful it's essentially like a super powerful magnet and because it's so powerful it creates a kind of a vortex around itself that then uh, creates these two really powerful jets that essentially release a lot of a lot of material with a lot of power and sometimes this material um, can actually point at our planet earth and sometimes it can point at something near it now, here's what's really interesting about this particular white dwarf. Let's actually create this from scratch. So, a long time ago, there was probably a star similar to our sun that had a very high metallicity and also had very high rotation speed. And then this particular object got really, really old. So, we're going to change our sun to something really old. And also, actually, let's just increase its uh, magnetic field dramatically. Here's the magnetic field of this object. And so it got really old and then collapsed and became a white dwarf, but also a pulsar. Now, this is very, very unusual. We've never seen this before. We've speculated that they exist, but this is the first time that a white dwarf pulsar has actually been found. So basically, it's a white dwarf that seems to pulsate and create similar effects to those of neutron stars that are known as pulsars today. But on top of that, it has something else very unusual. It actually has a partner star. And this partner star is a red dwarf, similar to um, a, one of the closest stars that we have, uh, known as the Bernard star. They orbit around each other relatively fast. The actual orbit here takes about 3.6 hours. And we're going to place them uh, just like right this, right around each other. And so here's what's really interesting. So let me just try to recreate this. And so here we go. So. The red dwarf, or known as AR Scorpii, uh, I guess both of these stars are known as AR Scorpii, but uh, this is, I guess, AR Scorpii B, 
orbits around this uh, white dwarf in about 3.6 hours and once in a while it passes through its uh, jets it passes through its um, super powerful streams and gets irradiated by them and when that happens a lot of its electrons escape at close to speed of light and release tremendous amount of energy so in, in essence uh this star uh this white dwarf acts as a kind of a um, particle accelerator for this white uh, for this red dwarf that orbits around it and every time it happens tremendous amount of, of energy are released and this system kind of brightens up because the uh, jets here interact with the um, electrons and particles of this red dwarf and so every two minutes this system brightens spectacularly it becomes super super bright it becomes really really flashy bright and then for about the next uh, two minutes it sort of stays dark and so it blinks very brightly every two minutes or so and so this is essential what the scientists were able to see and since we don't really actually know what exactly is happening here, it's kind of still a speculation about what exactly is causing these bright flashes, but it could be basically the interaction between these highly magnetic, highly energized um, jets and, of course, whatever is inside of the red dwarf. And what this actually does to this star is also still a mystery, because this is essentially the first time we've ever observed this. But now this is actually going to create quite a lot of new discoveries and a lot of new speculations, because maybe a lot of the other other objects we've observed in the past and that uh, have been actually blinking similarly to this one may also be these white dwarf pulsars and for the universe sandbox 2 simulation this also means that they need to update the simulation and add a pulsar that's also white dwarf but anyway this is actually a very very exciting uh week for me a lot of new discoveries a lot of new comets discovered a lot of new asteroids but this one was the most amazing one so here we've discovered a completely new object we kind of speculated about but didn't really know that it existed until now this object is about 380 light years away from us and uh, we're actually hoping to learn quite a lot about our universe and about our existence by studying these types of objects in the future and anyway, so this was AR Scorpii. Hopefully you learned something from this video. And as we learn more about this object, I'm going to make another video about it, telling you and teaching you about what we've discovered about it in the future. Anyway, come back here tomorrow to learn something new. Subscribe if you still haven't. And maybe share this video with someone who enjoys watching scientific videos about stuff, universe, galaxies, space, and so on. And who also likes video games. This is video games and education. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Game you later, space out, and as always, bye bye. And let's just for fun take our beautiful planet, Earth, and maybe, just maybe, place it somewhere in between these two with a really, really, really high eccentricity so that it actually starts approaching them and gets closer and closer to them. And let's find out what happens to our beautiful planet as it approaches these two beautiful but somewhat destructive stars. Water is gone. Things are getting a little bit hotter, and I guess this is just another way for us to destroy a beautiful planet. I kind of started doing this in almost every video now. I think maybe I have a problem. Maybe I should consult a psychiatrist about this. On the other hand, this is actually kind of fun. Are we there yet? And looks like our planet is now kind of sort of melting. We're approaching the objects relatively close now, and getting hotter and hotter and hotter. And here we go planet has been destroyed. Bye guys!